this is a word processor and I have three paragraphs. And for example, if you want to select some words and use bold for them to strengthen the word or to highlight a specific part of a paragraph in order to give more meaning. So for example, I just have to get into the word and highlight it and use the B in order to use bold. So you can find this tool on any word processor. And there is another thing, for example, if you want to emphasize a specific part of the paragraph, I want to, for example, emphasize this incredibly easy to download. I just need to go into this italic and I just hit the button and I have this specific style. So you can do the same thing on the HTML. Okay, let's just now use the browser instead of the word processor. I have the preview of this HTML code and I have three paragraphs. Then let's just refresh the page. And if you want to just select this WordPress word and strengthen the word by using bold, so there is a tag for that, which is strong. Okay, just strong, go to the word. So it's like selecting the word by wrapping it inside a strong tag. So strong and you close the tag, I save the page, then if I refresh the browser, you will see that I have a bold here. It's not only about using strong for words, you can also select any part of the paragraph. I can, for example, use strong to wrap this strong, to wrap this free and incredibly, and you'll see that I have three words that are highlighted or a part of a paragraph, which is highlighted by using the bold. Okay, now how to emphasize a word or how to emphasize a part of a paragraph. So it's also very simple. You can just go, you just have to Select a part of the paragraph. Okay, let's just go to the bottom here. And I go to this can easily create false. Okay, and I use EM to emphasize the word. And let's just use EM here. Then if I refresh the page, okay, let's just find out that can easily. So this can easily create. So you see that it is emphasized. It. It's like putting an italic. So we have also some other ones, I, and let's just use I again. So it's just like italic, but just forget about this I, use this EM so to find that this is an emphasized element. You have also, instead of strong, you can use B, but I'm just here teaching you to use the new tags instead of using the oldest one. Okay, refresh the page and we have some emphasized text. You can even emphasize a larger part. Okay, let's just use this EM from here. Let's just cut this EM from here and put it at the end. You will see that I have an entire part of the paragraph, which is emphasized by using the EM tag.